Getting to know you, getting to know all about you, getting to like you, getting to hope you like me, getting to know you, putting it my way when I sleep. You are precisely. My cup of tea. Every eye, all mankind, billions of eyes will figuratively see him. They will see Jesus coming as an executioner. They will realize that what's coming upon them, the destruction, is not just the result of some natural disaster. They will realize that this is what was prophesied by Jehovah's people to come upon them. Now what will happen in Armageddon? Well, the Bible says that uh, there will be a greater part of mankind will be killed. And uh, it will be very dramatic Prophecies in the book of uh, Jeremiah uh, prophesy about that. And in other Bible books as, uh, as well. And the, the, Jeremiah says that the dead will be from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. Or if we look at uh, Zechari Zechariah, the prophecy, uh, chapter 14, in verse uh, 12. It says there, and this will be what will prove to be the scourge with which Jehovah will scourge all the peoples that will actually do military service against Jerusalem. But now in, in the prophecy, this refers to heavenly Jerusalem, where we find the messianic kingdom. And it says, and that's scary, there will be a rotting away of one's flesh while one is standing upon one's feet. And one's very eyes will rot away in their sockets. And one's very tongue will rot away in one's mouth. Possibly having a figurative fulfillment, but also very possibly having a literal fulfillment. And Jehovah perhaps is going to use radiation to cause this phenomena that uh, people's flesh will rot away as they are standing on their feet. It will be a destruction as mankind has never seen before. When Armageddon will happen after that, it will be a time for liberation for God's people. Not only the destruction of enemies, but liberation and relief in many ways. But there will also be a lot of work to do because we've mentioned that in Armageddon billions of people will die and they have to be buried. The Bible indicates in the prophecy that there will be groups of people, of brothers and sisters that will for a long time do nothing else than just bury the dead. And then what else? It's sometime in the future the wonderful thing about the resurrection will start the resurrection of our dear loved ones. And how are we looking forward to receiving back our parents, grandparents, siblings, children? It's the end of the world as we do it. It's the end of the world as we do it. It's